Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and guys uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple gallery, picture gallery in flash. Uh, it's a thumbnail driven picture gallery guys. This picture gallery uses three thumbs but uh, it's an entirely up to you to add a few more and there will be just a little adjustment to the script. Since uh, as I said this is a very simple picture gallery. Uh, making changes to the action script understanding the action script won't be too difficult at all right so let me hit control enter first to show you this uh, pretty simple picture gallery so control enter on my keyboard here goes okay now guys uh, guys this is the main picture okay and these are the three thumbs in question if I click on the first thumb nothing happens because the corresponding picture is actually being shown but if, if I click on the picture in the middle uh, you see the other picture and if I click on the third one you see the third picture actually it's a little out of alignment that's because I am yet to do the alignment that I can do in no time just give me a sec right and sorry it's it's properly aligned now so let me show you a preview once again so there you go everything is in order now all right uh, so guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this uh, redo the whole project in a new file and hence uh, you will understand it much better exactly how I went about it okay so I want to say a file in a new uh, let me go with the width of 700 and the height to be 600 to suit the size of uh, my main picture and uh, the thumbs right let me give the color to the stage as black okay let me get in the pictures and the thumbs in the library first so I'm gonna say import import to the library okay I already have them in a folder okay I'm gonna select all the three pictures and their corresponding thumbs and click on open and they should be in the library now all right they are indeed okay I'm gonna pull up the first picture and I'm gonna place it uh, on the stage I'm gonna go to properties guys I've already done my calculation the pictures are 600 pixels by 375 pixels in height 600 in width all right so according to my calculation the X and Y should be 50 and 20 so basically uh, left to right it's in the center now all right cool uh, then guys I'm gonna press F7 on my keyboard to insert a blank keyframe I'm gonna go to the library pull up the other main picture right go to properties and again X and Y should be 50 and 20 guys now this X and Y can change according to the stage size the picture size and that's something that I, I leave up to you to decide right but this calculation works best for me I'm gonna press F7 once again to insert another blank keyframe and this time I'm gonna pull up the third picture from the library right likewise uh, I'm gonna say X 50 Y 20 all right and if I scrub the playhead now as you can actually see that all the three pictures are properly aligned okay I'm gonna rename layer one as pix obviously it has the three pictures I'm gonna insert one more layer okay this layer I'm gonna call thumbs because this is gonna host the uh, three thumbs okay let me get the three thumbs out making sure that the playhead is in the first frame guys this is thumb one okay uh, that's thumb two and that's thumb three all right let me select the three thumbs all right and out here uh, what I'm gonna do is making sure that align to stage is checked on I'm gonna go to this option which says space evenly horizontally cool and uh, yep I'm pretty happy except that let me go to properties and let me displace the first picture by 20 pixels I'm gonna enter a value of x20 uh, 
I beg your pardon, let me say control Z. I just needed to select the first picture, not all the pictures. So X of 20. Okay. And as far as the picture on the extreme or the thumb on the extreme uh, right is concerned, I see that the X is 500. So to displace it by 20 pixels to the left, I need to make it 400 and 480. Yep. This is how I want things. I'm going to save the file. Control S. <coughs> I'm going to give it a name of simple gallery. Right. Okay. So now that I'm done with the two frames and uh, all the pictures and the thumbs on the stage, guys, uh, I'm going to convert all the thumbs to buttons. They're going to serve as buttons. I'm going to select the first thumb. Okay, the coffee thumb. I'm gonna press F8 on my keyboard. Make sure that the type is a button, guys. The registration point could be anything, it's irrelevant. And uh, let me say okay. Let me give it an instance name of B1. Okay, I'm gonna select that second thumb in the middle. Okay, and uh, press F8 once again, making sure that the type is button. Okay, and the instance name I'm gonna call it B2 that's how I will be referencing it inside the actions panel I'm gonna select the third button press F8 and uh, making sure it's a button I'm gonna give it an instance name of B3 all right so the instance name for the thumbs uh, I've chosen as B1 B2 B3 basically they will be serving as button so button one button one button three button two button three right Okay, now that I've uh, given instance names and placed the pictures in the thumbs where I want it, I just need to script it out. Okay, so I'm going to insert one more layer. I'm going to rename it AS3 because I'll be placing Action Script 3 out here. Okay, let me open up the Actions Panel, guys. Right click and open up the Actions Panel and start coding. Right, coding time, guys. Don't be scared, it's a simple script, actually. Okay, so I'm going to say B1 dot add event listener okay it's a mouse event uh, e v e n t sorry specifically of the type click so click should be all caps guys and then the name of the function so that's uh, click handler right that's the name of the function that I've chosen you could have chosen a different name absolutely okay with that okay so let's uh, copy line number one okay and let's paste it two more times after which guys I'm gonna change this B1 to B2 and B3 out here guys if you remember B2 and B3 are the instance names B1 B2 B3 are the instance names of uh, the thumbs that we had chosen all right cool which means that I need to, to now define the function so function keyword guys and then uh, name of the function that's click handler okay in the parents guys uh, flash needs to know uh, the event type so event colon mouse event obviously right and then I need to define the function okay guys I'm actually going to use a switch case which I thought was the easiest in this situation if you're not uh, if you never use switch case uh, it may be something new for you okay already have it copied out here let me just uh, paste it out here okay I'll tell you how it actually works now you're gonna switch your statements according to this variable and now this variable could even be a button okay so I'm gonna say okay I'm going to replace my variable with event dot current target okay now event is a click event the current target is either b1 b2 or b3 okay so depending on which button was clicked or which thumb was clicked I want a different statement to happen so the case case 1 case 2 and case 3 will also differ see case 1 will actually become case b1 okay just in case b1 is clicked or maybe a b2 was clicked or maybe a b3 was clicked so the case will become b1 b2 and b3 okay so depending on uh, what was the case 
was B1 clicked, was B2 clicked, or was B3 clicked? We want the statement to be a little different, and let's see what the statement should be. I'm going to say go to and stop, okay, on the first frame. Okay, that is only if the B1 was clicked, but if B2 was clicked, this would change to go to and stop 2. And if B3 was clicked, this would change to go to and stop 3, obviously. Guys, this break means that do not read and execute the following statements. Just come out of it. Come out of the switch case. Okay, that's why we have the break out here. If you if it encounters break, then it doesn't go to case 2 and case 3. All right. So that's why we have the break out here. This is the, you know, the switch case uh, syntax. If It's pretty similar to the way you use... Uh, the if conditionals but I thought that in this situation probably this was better and easier okay so I'm actually done guys um, and um, this should fire perfectly if there are no compiler errors so I'm gonna hit control enter to test okay I forgot a stop statement out here so I need to say stop parent parent semicolon so so that it does not rush the first uh, from the first to the second second to the third frame okay let me hit control enter once again to test and there you go guys if i click on the first frame obviously nothing happens it's already on the first frame okay if i click on the first thumb if i click on the second thumb it goes to the corresponding frame the second frame and this will take you to the third frame the second back to the first okay so firing uh, or working just the way i actually wanted cool let me take you back to action script guys just in case you had let's say five thumbs so you just need to add two more cases so that'll be case b4 and b5 depending on what the instance name of the button is or what the current target of the event is right and then instead of saying go to and stop three it would be go to and stop four and go to and stop five and break out of it that's it so guys um, this script can be easily modified and uh, you could accommodate a few more thumbs so guys, I hope uh, you like this tutorial, learn something new, and I hope to see you very soon with yet another Flash and Action Script 3 tutorial. Have a good day guys. Bye-bye. Peace.